Hello, boys and girls. It is time for Wooldridge's weekly weekly read aloud. And this week is week 39. We have read 39 books together. This week we're going to read a story called Piggy Pie by Margie Palatini, illustrated by Howard Fine. Oops, thumbs up for the title page. Gritch the witch woke up grouchy, grumpy, and very hungry. Her belly grumbled for something delicious. Something delightful. Something special. But what? It wasn't purple mouse tail stew. No, she ate that yesterday for lunch. Maybe some mashed dragon, dung, dr dragon tongue pudding? No, Gritch wasn't in the mood for anything quite that sweet. Perhaps a taste of boiled black buzzard feet? That always made her mouth water. No, not today. Today, Gritch wanted something truly tasty. Something really yummy. Something special. And that could only mean... Piggy pie! Yes, yes, piggy pie! I can taste those plump, juicy pink piggies right now, Gritch said, smacking her lips. She hurried to the pantry and pulled down her old hag cookbook from the top shelf. She picked off a spider, blew off the dust, and turned to the secret recipe on page 342. Gritch ran her bony finger with the long green nail down the list of ingredients. One eye of fly. She checked the pantry shelves. No problem, said Gritch. Two shakes of a rattlesnake's rattle. No problem, said Gritch. Three belly hairs of a possum. No problem, said Gritch. Eight plump piggies. Problem! screeched Gritch. I don't have any piggies. How can I make piggy pie without even one puny pink pig? Gritch pulled her hair. She stomped her feet. She paced the floor. She wanted piggy pie. She wanted piggy pie very much. Hmm, she said, tapping the lucky wart on her chin. Now where would I find eight plump piggies? Gritch thought and thought and thought. Aha! Uh -huh, she shouted with a jump. The circus! Yes, yes, the circus! The circus! No, no, not the circus. You don't find pigs in the circus. She thought harder. Aha! Uh -huh, she shouted with a jump. The zoo! Yes, yes, the zoo! No, the zoo! No, no, not the zoo. You don't find pigs in the zoo. She thought much harder. The farm? Yes, yes, the farm. You find pigs on the farm. There was just one teeny tiny little problem. Where to find a farm? Where else? Gritch let her bony fingers do the walking and opened the yellow pages to F, where she found a very large ad. This was it. Old MacDonald's Farm. Call E-I-E-I-O. Just over the river and through the woods. We have ducks, chickens, and piggies. Gritch put her broomstick in gear and headed over the river and through the woods to Old MacDonald's farm. I've got you in my sights now, you little porkers! She cackled as she circled overhead. Surrender, piggies. Gritch zoomed in for a thump, 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 thump. Landing, she spit straw, fanned her, fanned her still smoking tootsies, and lifted her goggles. There wasn't a pig in sight. <gasps> where do they all go? Gritch shouted to a duck. Hey duck, I said, where are all the piggies? I need eight plump piggies for a piggy pie. The duck quack quacked here. It quack quacked there. Here it quacked. There it quack. Everywhere it quack quack. No piggies. What do you mean, no piggies, you dizzy duck? Gritch screeched into his bill. I just saw a passel of piggies down here not a minute ago. Hand over those hogs, you little quacker. No piggies, quacked the duck. 
Grinch pulled her hair. She stomped her feet. She even threatened the duck with one of her most evil spells. The duck was not impressed. It wasn't even scared. It gave Grinch another quack and waddled away. So who needs a dumb duck? Grinch mumbled. Being careful where she stepped, Grinch wandered across the meadow. Yoo-hoo! she shouted. Moo! You, Grinch said to the cow, where are the piggies? I need eight plump piggies for a piggy pie. The cow moo mooed here, it moo mooed there, here it mooed, there it mooed, everywhere it mooed mooed, no piggies. What do you mean, no piggies, you lumpy looking cow? screamed Grinch. I need eight plump piggies for piggy pie. Fork over the pork, you walking milk machine, or I'll curdle your cream. No piggies, mooed the cow. Grinch pulled her hair. She stomped her feet. She even threatened the cow with one of her most evil spells. The cow stared at Grinch, swatted a fly with its tail, and lumbered away. Cows! Who needs them? Grinch muttered. So she tried the barnyard where she stopped a chicken in its tracks. Okay, bird brain, where are the piggies? I need eight plump piggies for a piggy pie. The chicken cluck clucked here. It cluck clucked there. Here it clucked. There it clucked. Everywhere it cluck cluck. No piggies. What do you mean no piggies, you feathered drumstick? Grinch screeched. What's going on here? Where's the boss of this heap of hay? The chicken flapped its wing toward Old MacDonald. Grinch looked him over once. Twice. You're Old MacDonald, she said. Don't look much like your picture, do you? The farmer thumbed his suspenders and shrugged. Look, Shorty, I've been quack quack here, moo moo there, and cluck cluck everywhere all over this farm. I need eight plump piggies for piggy pie. Where are the piggies? The farmer looked here. He looked there. He looked. Here he looked. There he looked. Everywhere he looked and looked. No piggies. What do you mean, no piggies, you flea bitten sea spreader? You must have piggies. Grinch pulled her hair. She stomped her feet. She even threatened him with one of her most evil spells. No piggies. Her stomach growled. It grumbled. But there were no piggies. There would be no piggy pie. Now what was she going to eat? Psst, psst, psst. Excuse me, little lady. Wolf's the name. Let me give you some advice. Forget about the pigs. Forget about the pigs, said Grinch, eyeing the wolf. He nodded. They're too tricky. Trust me. I've been chasing three little pigs for days. He huffed and puffed. I'm starving. Look at me. I'm nothing but skin and bones. Grinch pinched his arm. Well, not quite, she grinned. Mr. Wolf, I have the most wonderful idea. I was thinking, since you haven't eaten and I haven't eaten, why don't you come home with me for lunch? I'm a very good cook. Why, that does sound tempting, the wolf said as he looked at Grinch and smacked his lips. Are you sure it wouldn't be any problem? Problem? Grinch grinned. No problem at all, she said as they walked off arm in arm. I always enjoy having a wolf for lunch. The end. I enjoyed reading with you boys and girls. I look forward to next time.